I need help. This might not look that bad to you, but like all this clutter, I cannot. I can't. I've been getting some new stuff. Oh my god, my phone is blowing up. I've been getting some new stuff and I just kind of set it here. Or I like throw it in a random drawer where it doesn't belong and I cannot deal. This needs to be gone. So you guys are going to help me organize. And we'll play with some new makeup. Like we'll play with all this stuff. I'll swatch it for you. We'll talk about it. Um, if you guys like this style, you can let me know if you would rather that I just sit in front of the camera and like show you products. I just feel like this way is more like raw and like authentic. I don't know. You guys can tell me what you like. So I'm going to set my camera up and I guess we're going to clean my vanity, do some swatches, play, whatever. Whatever we get into. It's a... It's a crazy Saturday night. Let's get wild. Okay, I guess I'm gonna focus the camera like down here so we can swatch. I really don't wanna be on camera. I look a hot mess. I think I cracked my rib. It's been a week. Okay, so I guess we're gonna play with some new makeup and then we'll kind of organize. That way we'll be ready to put everything away. So I got these today in the mail from Pixie on the glow blush. They are beautiful. I was playing with them earlier. This one is juicy. Oy, I, oh, oh shit. Oh boy. I smushed it. They're very like summer ready. Like look how dewy and beautiful, but they don't feel greasy. They just feel so nice. I'm excited about these. If you have dry, what? If you have dry skin, you probably would love. I probably smushed this one too. This one is called Fleur. This is the more pink one. I'm trying to get my camera not to like keep going in and out of focus. Oh, the pink. Pink is so beautiful. Look at those. I love. I think they look amazing. Oh, yay. So I will use in a video. Just make sure that you twist them down before you put the lid on. Don't be me. Be smarter than me. Oh, God, I'm going the wrong way. Come on, Nicole. Pull it together, girl. Don't they look so nice though? So luminous. Oh, I don't know how well they're gonna last on my oily skin, but I am so willing to try. So Jouer has a new collection out. It is the French Riviera collection. Look at this beautiful, gorgeous, delicious packaging. So let's start with the eyeshadow palette. Oh. Look at that packaging, isn't it just gorgeous? Tell me that is not stunningly beautiful. You can't, you can't tell me that. I haven't touched this yet. I was waiting for you guys. So let's do a couple swatches without me blinding you. I gotta touch this gold. Oh, baby. Oh my God, that's beautiful. It's kind of like a mix between a metallic eyeshadow and a topper because it has that beautiful like shimmer to it. <gasps> that on the lid in the summer is going to be everything. I got to swatch the blue. Oh, this one's like a top. Oh, <gasps> I love that color. Oh my God, that's so pretty. I like doing swatches with you guys. This is fun, like live swatches. All right, the green. Oh, the green feels so nice. Oh, this is so beautiful. Oh my God. Look at that. All right, let's do a matte. This like cocoa, like a mustardy brown. Oh, bitch. Oh, bitch. It has a little bit of a sheen to it. <gasps> I'm obsessed already and then you have this like transition shade oh yes baby yes Jouer I've never fallen in love with Jouer eyeshadows not the formula the formula is always really good but they've never had like a color palette that I was extremely drawn to I'm very attracted to this this is beautiful that color right there I'm so excited. Oh my God, yes, we need to do a look with this. 
Yes. And I see you guys in the comments telling me to pull my camera closer and get ready with me. I will do that in my next one, I promise. Oh my God, how beautiful. Oh my goodness gracious, that is gorgeous. Wow. And then we have this blush that goes along with it. There was another one, but I think I'm putting that one in a giveaway. So this one is Parasol and Coqui. Co nah. I'll put it on the screen. I don't want to jack up the beautiful French language, but I have worn this and it is, my hand is wet, it is beautiful. Okay, let me just show you how beautiful these are. Do you see that? Are you in love? And like the formula, it's not too dewy, it's not too matte, it, they're just, I love. I am in love. In the summer, on tan skin, what more do you need? Absolutely nothing. I will answer that for you. Nothing. So I got this guy from Sephora as like a 100 point perk. It's the new Change Maker uh, Skin Optimizing Primer. This is the one for oily skin. They also have one for dry skin. I've been using this and I've been kind of liking it. So it's a nice formula and I don't know, it just feels really nice going on. It doesn't have that like silicone feel to it. It just feels like a really nice, like hydrating primer, but it also feels like it's kind of doing something to keep me matte without making my face feel dry. So I've really been liking that. Would honestly consider buying the full size. It's really nice. Oh, there was more from Jouer. There's a little lip kit, the Honey Kiss lip kit. And I've already worn the lip. So this is called Sienna Shimmer. This is the lip liner. It is absolutely beautiful. I love, I freaking love. And then Honey Kiss Lip. Oh my goodness. I love like a luminous gold lip like a soft gold, do you know what I mean? Just like a barely there kind of balm gloss. This is it, it's gorge. So I got this primer from Wander Beauty, Smooth Sailing Perfecting Primer. I have not tried this on my face yet, but let's give it a little squeeze. It has like, let me see if you guys are gonna be able to see. It has like a little like gold flex in it. I don't know if that's picking up on camera, but that's what she looks like. It feels like the reviews on this are incredible on Sephora's site. Base Perfecting Smooth Sailing Primer. It says oil-free primer mattifies, minimizes pores and blurs imperfections. It feels like it might be a little bit too like slippery for me. I'm not sure, but I don't know because once it starts to like dry down, it feels really nice. So I'm not sure about this one yet. It sounds like something that I would love, but I, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of torn. This is one that I'm gonna have to obviously put on my face, but that's a new one that we have to try out. New to me, not new to the world. It's very blurring though. Like I can tell just by that little spot that I did on my hand, it's like blurred. Oh, it's so smooth. Oh my goodness. Okay, moving on. Also from Wander, I have their powder foundation. Wanderlust powder foundation. This one's in golden medium. I still have not tried this and I really want to. And this is another product that gets amazing reviews on Sephora's site. I've never been a huge fan of a powder foundation just because I feel like they're very heavy. Like that, that, that scares me right there. That is like a lot. But I mean, if I would use a light hand, maybe in the summer, see like once you blend it out, it looks really pretty. It almost has a little bit of like a sheen to it. 
like a powder foundation with a sheen, that's like the best of both worlds. Tell me it's not. I, this might be good. So many products that we need to try. So many, but I think the packaging on this is so beautiful. So we definitely need to do that. If you guys want dedicated videos on anything, just let me know. This came out a while ago and I have yet to try it. Natasha Denona Mini Love Palette. Oh, it matches my sweatshirt. Isn't she cute? Let's do a couple swatches, why don't we? I, I haven't even swatched it. Her eyeshadows always hit, but sometimes the minis are maybe a little bit off. Like this one, well, that's beautiful. It's like a soft shadow. You can build her up though. Ooh, that one feels nice. Ooh, that's gorgeous. I'm a sucker for that color. Oh, beautiful. All right, we have a matte. These never swatch good. You have to put them on, so I'm not gonna judge that one. The swatch is kind of crappy. I'm gonna do this metallic one. Ooh, that almost has a little bit of like a shift to it. That's like a toppery shade. I'm sorry. Oh, that's beautiful. Why have I not worn this yet? Oh, wow. Are you getting the full effect? That is beautiful. I didn't. this matte here off. Ooh, I didn't think that was gonna be as pigmented as it was. That's a beautiful palette. Wow, I just have this stuff sitting here, you guys. Like, we really need to get on the ball. Nicole, you need to get your shit together. I also have this from Ofra, the Mother Earth. Also, what else did we see from Ofra? Nothing, oh good grief, okay. I have this from Ofra, the Mother Earth Highlighter. Their highlighters always freaking hit. Wait, is this the Nikki Tutorials one? Remember I got that one out to use? Is this it? Am I losing my mind? Or is this a new one? Well, I'll put it on the screen, but dang, that is B. I think this is new. That is absolutely stunning. That is an eyeshadow. Wow, oh, beautiful. Okay, now also from Ofra, we have the Samantha March Life's A Draft Palette. I've, I've dabbled in this. This shade right here, one of the most beautiful colors in general that I've ever seen. As a blush, as an eyeshadow, if I could saturate my entire body with this, I would. It is so pretty. Let me just show you. You're not even going to get the full effect, but it is. I don't know what it is about this color. I've worn it on my eyes. I've worn it as a blush. It will be in my 2021 favorites at the end of the year. I promise you the formula is a thousand out of 10. Everything. The luminosity is perfect. It's not too soft. It's not too hard. It is one of the best makeup products in general that I've ever used right there. I love it so much. I need it in a full size and I need two backups because I'm hooked. I mean, I just went really hard, but it's magic. And this eyeshadow right here is very similar, but there's something about the blush. I, I just don't know what it is, but I love it with every ounce of my being. This palette's great if you didn't, if you didn't get that. And I love this color. I've worn this on my lid. It's soft. You kind of have to build it up or you can just do one layer and you just get this like whisper of a color. It's very pretty, very like on trend for summer where it's like effortless. This palette's amazing. I love the mattes. I love the metallics, the highlighter is just like they always hit with highlighters. What more do you want people? Ofra is pumping it out and they are giving it to you. This, go buy it. It's amazing. It is just for this color right here, go buy it. 
I think I did mention this in a previous video, but Laura Mercier has a new tinted moisturizer. It's oil-free. It's more for combination to oily skin. This one is in the shade Bisque. I have not used this yet. I am ashamed of myself, but it's a little bit dark for me right now. Like this is my summer shade and I'm not at my summer tan yet, but I'm very excited about it. I feel like it has more coverage than her original tinted moisturizer. Let me grab mine. Oh, it's right here, huh, right in front of me. So same shade, this is Bisque. This is just the regular tinted moisturizer. Let's see how the formula fares. See, I feel like the original one is a little bit less coverage. And even though these are the same shade, they're different. They're very different colors. So if you're Bisque in her original tint and moisturizer, you might not be Bisque in the oil-free one because these are both Bisque and they're different. The oil-free one is darker and it feels a little bit thicker, but not too thick. <laughs> what? So I'm very excited to try this. Do think I will do a dedicated video on this because I feel like a lot of people would be interested in this. Like us oily girls have trouble finding a good tin and moisturizer because I feel like a lot of them are made for people with dry skin. They're very luminous, radiant, like a serum type thing. Can you guys see on the dry down? Like, look how nice the oil-free one dries down. It does almost have a little bit of like a sheen to it, but it feels like it doesn't feel dewy or anything. Whereas the original one, you can definitely feel like a little, you know, it's a little bit more on the dewy side. I think this is gonna be really good. We're almost done, then we're gonna organize. So I bought this Wet n Wild Incognito Concealer. And I mentioned in a video, I was not excited about this, but one of you guys told me that it's the type of concealer that I would like. I have not tried it yet. This one is light medium. I think the color looks really good, but I'm a little bit scared because it looks like it's a lot of coverage and it looks like it's kind of matte. So I don't know, but we're gonna need to try this together, but there's a little swatch of it. And it was like $3. I would like to introduce you to my new friend. The new Nude Sticks concealer that has been getting rave reviews. She's pretty damn amazing. So I have the shade Nude 4. What I love about this, I don't have to set it. I put it on. I blend it in, it lasts all day. It's like a, I would say like a medium coverage, light to medium. It's so nice. It's very natural. It gives me coverage. It doesn't make my under eyes look dry and crepey. And I don't have to set it with a powder so my under eyes don't look dry and crepey because that's what makes them look really dry once you put powder over top of the concealer. I have really been liking this. Do I like it as much as the Tarte Creamy Shape Tape? I don't know. I don't know. I would say possibly. I'm still, like we're still in the beginning of our relationship, but I really, really like this. I've been wearing it every day since I got it. It's really, really good. If you can find a shade. I feel like the shade selection is a little iffy but I love the applicator, I love the packaging, I love that I don't have to set it. It's really good. So Kate Somerville has a new sunscreen out, Daily Deflector Mineral Sunscreen SPF 40. I have not worn this on my face yet. It's a little pumpy. It is $50, but I'll let you see what the formula is like here. It feels really nice. I also got a new sunscreen from Paula's Choice, but it's in my car. I wore it today and I was like rushing, so I grabbed it, threw it in my purse, and I applied it in the car. And it's really nice. But this one feels like it's gonna be really good. It doesn't have that like thick sunscreen feel. 
And once you blend it in, I was playing with it the other night, it just kind of like disappears. Like it soaks in. It doesn't leave behind like a greasy feel. So it's all about like what your price range is when it comes to sunscreen. Some people won't pay over like $15. Some people will pay up to a hundred for a sunscreen. So if you're looking for one, like a really good facial sunscreen and you don't mind spending a little bit of money, this might be a good one for you. I can't say for sure yet, but usually Kate Somerville gets it right. So that is her new sunscreen. I hope I like it. I think I will. Like it's gone, it's just gone, which is great, especially for my oily ass. How many times have I said I'm oily? Did you guys know that I have oily skin? Did I mention that? I've had this sitting here for like a few days and I still have not tried it. Pop Beauty Extra Lit B Shot Exfoliating Serum. What? Let's see what this feels like. Exfoliating serum. I'm curious. Huh. Ah, my camera stopped. This has the weirdest feel. At first it felt like a serum and now it just feels like water. Oh my God, that that is so weird. What is in there that's making it feel like that? Oh, witch hazel. Apple fruit extract, glycolic acid, vitamin B3, and witch hazel gently exfoliate and help to minimize the look of pores. Like it's gone. Oh my goodness, that is so weird. But like in a good way, not weird in a bad way. Wait, I need to swatch that again. Did you see how that just like, oops, it just like disappeared. So like it, it's there, it feels like a serum. We're blending it in, it's like a nice serum. And then all of a sudden, it starts to feel like water. <laughs> it's so weird. Oh. It has a nice scent. It just smells kind of like citrus. And it's just like, there, it took on that watery feel. What? That is so weird. And then it's just like, gone. That might be really good. Oh, I'm excited to try that. If you follow me on Snapchat, you'll get to see this in action. I always do skincare stuff on Snapchat. That's kind of cool. I was not expecting that. But that's a new product from Pop that they had sent over. Extra Lit B Shot Exfoliating Serum. Check it out. Okay, last thing. Oh, actually, no. One more thing after this. This is a new blush from Milani. It's called Peach of Me. It is gorgeous, you guys. I have not worn it on my face, but I have swatched it. And it is... Oh! Milani blushes do things to me. If you don't like shimmer and blushes, you're not gonna like this because she definitely has some shimmer in it. Let me do it on the back of my hand because sometimes you can't see good if I do it on my arm. Isn't that beautiful? It does have shimmer in it. I wouldn't say glitter, but shimmer. But I love that for summer. I do not care, I am down to put that all over my face. Oh, it's so pretty. And Milani blushes, the formula is always just wonderful. Okay, last thing that we're gonna talk about. Ofra has some new little palettes out. Midi face palettes. So there are three shades. There's a light, a medium, and a dark. I'm not gonna keep all of these, but I will swap. Oh, shoot. Ah! Okay, I'm sorry, I just knocked my umbrella light over. That was great. So I'm not gonna keep all of these, but I am definitely gonna keep the light one. So I will swatch that one for you. So you have like a contour shade, a bronzer shade, and then a highlighter. Very pretty, this is light. That contour shade, she is really neutral and really nice. It's not too cool, it's not too warm. That is like my ideal contour shade. That is beautiful. And do you see it has just, like, don't mind that, that's from the blush. But it's, it's not a flat matte. It has a little, just tiny bit of life to it. 
Here's the highlighter. Oh my God. How does Ofer do that? Oh my goodness. And here's the bronzer. To add a little bit of warmth. See, I think this looks a little crazy when you swatch it, but I think on the face that would be beautiful. Especially with this one as a contour. I mean, these three together. I think they killed it with this. I love all three colors. All right, I'm gonna swatch the medium one as well. So here's the contour shade. Definitely a little bit warmer. Ooh, but equally as pretty. I love how it has a little bit of like a sheen to it. Here's the highlighter. Oh my God. Oh my God. And here's the bronzer. Oh, see, now I like that bronzer better. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, these are so nice. Oh, wow. Ofra, for me, has been killing it. Their sponges, their makeup. Like, I used to like their makeup, but it wouldn't be something that I would grab for every day. Recently, I use so much Ofra makeup, and I love it. I use their sponge every day of my life. Look, it's right here. She's dirty, I used her earlier. I I love it. The I think it's called the Perfecting Sponge, amazing. But Ofra has just been, like everything they come out with is just so good, the quality. It, they've stepped it up big time. And here I will show you the deep one. Yes, deep, but I'm not gonna swatch it. Isn't that gorgeous for deep skin? I think the bronzer shade is gorgeous. So, these are new from Ofra. They are available. I'll put it on the screen when they are available. Okay, so it's been a few days and I've added two products to the collection. So we're gonna have to look at them super quick. I just went to Sephora for this and I also bought this. So, let's look at this guy first. Fenty, this is their new eye brightener. I keep hearing good things about it. I wasn't thrilled with the shades, but Erin told me that butter is the shade that I need. I am going to listen to her because we usually wear the same shades in almost everything. The packaging is so cute. So what is this called? Fenty Beauty Eye Brightener, Bright Fix. Let's give it a little swatchy pill. Sorry if my camera keeps going in and out. Oh, that shade actually looks pretty good. I don't know, I thought it was like too yellow. I don't know. Oh, that looks pretty good actually. She was right, she was right. Oh, and that feels really nice. It's supposed to be like a thinner concealer. Like, it's more of a like brightener but also can conceal. It sounds great. So we will try that in the Get Ready With Me. I have so many new things to try. And then the Tatcha, I didn't even know this existed. I have the original Silk Canvas, but now there's a liquid one. It's probably been out forever and I just didn't know it. I'm not, I, I don't stay on top of Tatcha. I feel like they're a little pricey, but this is the mini one. So we're gonna see if it's any good. Packaging is super cute. So let me see what it says here. Featherweight oil-free liquid silk primer that makes makeup last longer while keeping it out of the, while keeping it out of the skin. Huh. Helping to minimize clogged pores and breakouts. I'm dying to see what this feels like. Pricing. Oh, oh, perfect. Oh, that feels amazing. Oh, and it smells really nice too. Oh, that feels so nice. That's probably gonna be bomb. Okay, so the two newest additions to the family. Now let's organize. Oh, did I show this to you guys? The LA Girl Hey Hey Vacay? It's beautiful. I've swatched it, but I haven't worn it yet. Isn't it pretty? Really, really pretty. Sorry, this lighting's kind of weird. We're at a weird spot. Look, aren't they beautiful? Oh, gorgeous. 
Gorgeois. All right, so blushes and lipsticks. I have some other new stuff in here that we need to try. I still have those Revlon lips in there. There's some Ofra highlighters. So this Ofra highlighter can go right there. My Honey Kiss lip will put in there along with the lip liner. Oh goodness. These two Pixie blushes. Oh, aren't these so pretty? I love the packaging. Um, I guess we can put these in here. Let me try to make some space. Is that going to work? No, it's going to have to work. Uh, the Tatcha Primer. I'm just going to pop him in there. I also have this Marshmallow Primer from NYX that we have to try been hearing really really good reviews on this the Fenty brightener Ooh, I guess I'll put him in here as well the two Laura Mercier I usually try to keep new products in here and over here I have like eye stuff so the eyeshadow palettes oh goodness Oh goodness. <laughs> See, I'm like running out of room. I'm just gonna throw that stuff on there because if I put if I put them under like the smaller stuff, I'll forget about them and not use them. So I need them to be on top. Even though it doesn't look great, it works for me. Alright, the Wander primer can go in here. My little Kaja eyeshadows that I used in my last Get Ready With Me. I've been using these quite a bit. I just kind of keep them out. I set them on like, let me move you. I set, oh, hello. I put them on the bottom of my little mirror. This is from Target and I freaking love it. Down here I have everyday eyeshadow palettes and stuff that I grab for a lot. I don't know where I'm going to put these two Ofra. Uh oh, we've officially run out of room. Maybe I'll just slide them in here. Ugh, I know that looks crappy, but it's gonna have to work. I'm gonna slide those two back. Uh, the Wet n Wild concealer, this little Bite Beauty primer. I can pop him in there. The Ilia Mascara. I tried this for the first time today. I am going to use this in a get ready with me. I'm not sure how I feel about it. It's one of those that doesn't give a ton, like it doesn't give you that fluffy lash. It kind of, it kind of, I don't know. It's not as fluff producing <laughs> as I would like. So I don't know how I feel about it, but I'm going to pop him in here. Oh, and then this Chill Out Primer that I used in my last video. I think I like this one. I really do. I'm going to put him in there because he's still new. And then the little Jouer Cream Blush. Even though it's new, usually I don't put new stuff with my everyday cream blushes, but I'm going to put him there because I'll see him, so I won't forget to use him. I also have this other one from Jouer. I don't think I showed this one to you guys. Be Loud and Be Strong. So, I'm like cradling, you guys. That's Be Loud. Oh, isn't it pretty? Ooh. Pretty. So, the one side is like colorless. So, I'm not going to swatch that side because you're really not going to be able to see it. But that's the other side. This beautiful, like, berry shade. Isn't that pretty? Oh, you know what? On deep skin, that would be amazing. Uh, this Wander Powder Foundation. I'm going to have to put him up here with the other foundations. Oh, shoot. Oh, that works. Okay. Oh, and the LA Girl palette I just popped up here with my bigger eyeshadow palettes. I will see him and I will hopefully remember to use him. I also have a new Becca Zero. I don't know if I showed that to you guys. Um, Sephora has all of their Becca stuff 50% off. So I got a new one because mine was almost empty. Love this for the summertime. I am obsessed with this perfume. 
So this is from the brand Dossier. So they had reached out to me and they're like, do you want to try some of our perfume? And I'm like, uh, yes, I've recently gotten really into perfume. So they sent this one over. This one is supposed to be very similar to Baccarat Rouge, which I've never actually smelled Baccarat Rouge, but I have dupes for it that I love. And I have compliments of my friend Dee. She got me this for my birthday, the Baccarat Rouge Hair Mist, which is amazing. Like, look, I'm, I've am i used, yeah, I've been going hard. So they sent this over. I smelled it. I fell in love. It smells incredible. So I wear this every day. And for a while, I was like, you know what? This is not lasting on me. I'm not smelling it. I cannot tell you the amount of compliments I've had from people on this. So it is lasting. I'm just not smelling it as it's still on my body. I was in a public bathroom the other day. I walk out of the stall and another woman walks into the stall and she's like, oh my God, you smell amazing. And I was like, thanks girl. Yesterday, someone told me, oh, you smell so good. What do you have on? And this was hours. I'm talking like seven, eight hours later. And I'm like, I don't have anything on. And they're like, you smell like perfume. And I'm like, it's this. So it does last on me. I just don't smell it lasting on me, but that's beside the point. It is amazing. I've never gotten more compliments on a perfume than this one. This has become my freaking signature scent. It is called Ambery Saffron, and it is my favorite thing. I love it with every ounce of my soul. So I'm gonna put Dossier down below. I didn't even know this brand existed. I love the packaging. It's very simple, very like minimalistic. This smells like heaven. And we have to give her some props too. The Baccarat Rouge Hair Mist, incredible. I spray it on my hair every day, love it. It's these two together, bitch. I am the best smelling person in the world. I've come to that conclusion. Thank you. Thank you for your time. I don't know that I'm going to be able to move these with my rib injury. Long story. I think I cracked a rib. It's fine. It'll heal. But I'm not going to move these because it's not going to be possible. glass cleaner down here so we're just gonna do this be fine. I love this mirror it's so good it was like 20 bucks which I thought was a lot for a mirror maybe like 25 but it's so good and I love the little space underneath to throw stuff on also you guys look at this my friend Deanna sent me this in the mail Deanna's getting all kind of shout outs in this video how cute is this it says rainbows welcomed Rainbows are welcomed in my home and in my life. And if you say anything negative about my rainbow people, we will fight and I will go to jail and I will be proud of it, so. But like what, I wanna display this side, but then, huh, how cute is this? Oh, I'm obsessed. I'm freaking obsessed. Alright guys, what do we think? She looks pretty good, right? This is my little filming setup. If you've been with me, you have seen this all a thousand times. But we're all organized. All the new makeup is put away and ready to be used in videos. I'm going to wash a few brushes today. And we are good to go. 
So thank you guys for watching. I don't know if you guys like this style of video where it's more like less of me just sitting in front of the camera and holding a product up and it's a little, I don't know, it's just like a different style. I think it's kind of fun once in a while. I wouldn't do it all the time. This was almost like a haul video. Um, if you guys want dedicated videos on anything, let me know down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. We're not going to talk about that, okay? That's for another day. Dang, you guys got to always call me out. All right, I love you guys. I will see you next time. And check out Dossier. I will put them down below. Not sponsored, but I'll put them down below. Okay, bye. Love you. Peace. I freaking love it. I, I can't take it off. I can't take it off. Look at that. That is so freaking pretty. Oh my god, don't, don't look at this. This is gross. Look at this. Dang it. Well, do you know that um, YouTuber that films videos just with her hands? She always has it like laid out beautifully. Like, look at this, Nicole. You will never come close. And her videos are so, like, calming. She's not screaming. She's not cursing. She's not demanding that people look at things. <gasps> look at this. Oh, my God. Look at it. Wait. Could you aspire to be more like her? Oh, come on, Nicole. What the heck? What the heck are you doing? Oh, my God. Do you know what I just got a sudden craving for? Takis. I'll be back. Like, why do I keep this? What am I... I'm not going to use it. Focus. Oh, my God. I'm such a YouTuber. Can you see it? <laughs> no. Trash. Trash like me. Clean your vanity. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Ooh, my ow! Ooh, my freaking rib. <laughs> Let's get litty. Get it, litty? Candle? Lit? Oh, wow. No, Nicole, they don't get it. Because it's not funny. Oh my god, I think I just broke something. Oopsie. What? You think we need some